Foxy. And if you subscribe to the True Gamer, maybe Scott will make another game. <laughs> so guys, the True Gamer here. First of all, I just wanted to showcase this cool Foxy keychain I just got. Look at how cool that looks. That's pretty cool. Second, I don't know why, but I was sitting on a string. Well, not sitting on one. I was standing. I don't really know what to say. <laughs> this is going to be a vlog. Or, like, I don't know what this is going to be. Hopefully it's going to be a vlog. But, the thing about all my vlogs, why I'm always so weird about them, I enjoy to do them. But, I don't know what to say, really. I just pretty much set down a camera and start talking. Like, I always think of one thing, like the foxy thing. This is a little foxy keychain I got on vacation. I got it at a mall. I got it at an EB Games in a mall. It was five bucks. It's pretty good. It's a uh, head moves full 360. Okay, give you guys a better look. Um, hey! Wait, no, you guys didn't see that. So, um, oh, um, this might not go onto YouTube, but, um, if it does, then you guys probably see that. I'm a fan of Stretch Armstrong, like, a pretty big fan. I think I have a booklet full of drawings that I'll show you guys right now. Okay, so I found the booklet. So I have two of them. I have the one of Kenner. Oh, that's what I was forgetting. Wait, never mind. Um, I was going to say, oh, in that booklet I forgot to put in Stretch Monster and Stretch X-Ray. But now that I'm remembering, I am putting those. I'm making a, book, a different book on the villains. So I have one on, on Kenner's. There are two pages. And it's like a little book. Some of it's for coloring. The Cap Toys one, the first page, isn't for coloring. And for the Kenner one, the back page, isn't for coloring. Also, one of these looks very, very bad. And I'm just making sure I didn't write my name in any of this. Okay, there's something very funny that I did that you guys are all going to love. But, you know, save the grade for last. So, um, this one I finished. The Cap Toys one I haven't. So I have this big main one of Stretch Armstrong with his ar arm stretched out, and it says Stretch Armstrong. Right there. Wait. I don't really know, because it's it looks to be backwards, but then if I turn my head, that might just be a camera thing. I don't know, I've never put words on the screen. So then I put that one of him in one of his poses that you, that you can put him into, like uh, uh, the box shows a bunch of them. And then I drew that one, which I really like. That one... Wait, how many... One, two, three, four... Okay, yeah. That one is my favorite drawing. I gave it lots of hearts. I could give them all hearts, but I gave this one four hearts, and I drew four drawings. So that shows that that's my favorite out of the four. And then I drew that one. Then on page two, this is still to have some work done. I drew another picture of Stretch Armstrong doing another one of his poses. And then I drew Stretch Octopus. I feel like there's something else that I'm forgetting, but the rest are the villains. So, Fetch Armstrong! No, that's by Cap Toys. Yeah, I'm not forgetting anything. And then this is what you guys are all going to love. This one I colored. And, boom. It's this little thing of Stretch Armstrong. But why the face is black and white, the picture showed a picture of a guy playing one and I want one so bad also before you start rapidly commenting I do know that in 2016 this year not too long ago actually Stretch Armstrong came into stores but he hasn't released where I live yet so he'll release in time for my birthday so what I did I got the thumbnail for one of my videos printed it out and taped my face over the guy's face to make it look like I was playing with my very own Stretch Armstrong. 
So on this one, I drew that one with his arm stretched out, which you guys saw on the first page, too. Then I drew that one, which all of these I actually drew on the front page. So I drew that one, that one, a sitting bowl. Then I drew human pretzel. Oh, human pretzel is probably my favorite post, by the way, guys. And then I drew whatever that one is. It has a name. I was able to read it at one point, and then I entirely forgot. So, boom, there's that. And then there's that. And that's all the one thing I can I only have two things done from the front page, and they're both colored. So I have, um, also I really like the one by Cap Toys. Sadly, it's the one by Kenner that's being redone. But Cap Toys, like, I'll give you the full twist. Kenner started Stretch Armstrong in the 1970s. They made a couple of them. They made the Stretch Armstrong character. Then they made Stretch Monster, so you can play hero and villain. Then they made Stretch X-Ray as another villain. And that was just cool. Like, it was... That Stretch X-Ray is sort of confusing, because then Cap Toys made their own version of him. So I always think that... Like, I'll, I'll tell you guys that later. So then they made Stretch Octopus as just a other thing to go with their stretchy series. And then Cap Toys in 1995 released Stretch Armstrong, but he looked much, much different. Also, that's another picture of me that I just taped on. So, he looked much different. That's what he looked like. And, yeah. But, Cap Toys seemed a lot more like, how, how do I say it? I don't know the word. But they they made a lot more Stretch Armstrong stuff than the original company that made Stretch Armstrong. S but they made, like, way more stuff. Like, they made Stretch Armstrong. Then they made him a pet dog. Then they made... Well, this one was never released. They made him a, a girlfriend, wife, or sister, or cousin. They made him pretty much a girlfriend. Not a girlfriend, but a friend or family that was a girl. And, um, they made, um, a load, like, a handful of villains. They made, actually, they only made a couple. They made, um, Batman, which is pretty cool. Then they made Wretch X-Ray, which is just a weird version of Stretch X-Ray. So that was pretty weird. And it says that Wretch X-Ray is Stretch Armstrong's brother, but in just my imagination, I like to think that Reg X-Ray is the evil brother of Stretch X-Ray, and Stretch X-Ray is a good guy. Because if you ask me, if you look at Reg X-Ray, search him up or something, he looks a lot more evil than Stretch X-Ray. Like, Stretch X-Ray still looks scary if you were, like, three, but Reg X-Ray is, like, creepy. And then, Cap Toys also made, like, a group of action-adventure characters. And they were pretty much him dressed up to defeat Ratch X-Ray. And they were smaller, they were, like, this big. Like, the original Stretch Armstrong was, like, this big, it's 15 inches. And then they released a 9-inch series of them. And then they just remade Stretch Armstrong and Fetch Armstrong to be 9 inches. And then they also made, like, this weird pack of just a combat suit, so it looks like Stretch Armstrong was out fighting in the war! I think that's about it for Stretch Armstrong. Flying Chicken! I got this flying chicken, guys. I went to the Telus World of Science here. It's just a chicken. You can get them in, like, a two-pack. This is very cool. It's stretchy. But I'd bring it out while we're talking about Stretch Armstrong. Yeah. So pretty much, you... Stick your finger into his chin, like this, and then you grab on to, like, there's this little grip right above the weird taily feety thing that you grab onto. You guys can't really see it. It's right above the tail. You hold on to that, and they are sticky. They're called chicken fingers. You can get them at Tell Us World of Science. Um, I haven't washed them, like, ever, and I've had them for, like, three days, so they don't really stick that well anymore. Yeah, here, I'll shoot it at the camera. Mm. Yeah, so they're pretty fun. Also, while the topic of Sword of Stretch Armstrong, I will go get something that is pretty cool. So, I don't know if you guys are aware, 
But there's also this character named Plastic Man, and they made these action figures of him for a TV show. And I got one, and of course me being obsessed with Stretch Armstrong not too long ago, actually, like, maybe a month ago, sometime in June, I was poking around and I found it, but I lost all its clothes, so it was just a naked one of him. So what I did was I cleaned off his face, I'm soon going to color his hair yellow, and what I did is I got a permanent Sharpie marker, and then I just drew on him to make him look like Stretch Armstrong. So I can stretch him as if I had a Stretch Armstrong. So pretty much all you guys need is this Plastic Man action figure. Just imagine this dressed up like Plastic Man. Came with Rubber Neck and Batman, for the Batman Brave and the Bold series. And, um... I pretty much, like, what you guys can do if you just went out and buy them. They don't sell them in stores, by the way. So you can get them on eBay for about, like, 50 bucks. So, pretty much, I, you can just take off his clothes. Um, I, I, like, scratched all this, you can scratch all the stuff off his head. That's probably what I did. I was like, eh, to get off his hair or his goggles or something like that. And, um... His arms are a bit weak, but I've had this since I was four, so I've had it for like five years. Yeah, I've had it for five years now. Stretching it that far for five years. Heck, I'm surprised his arms hasn't fallen off already. So pretty much then what you guys need to do if you want to make one. If you want, like I made it to look like the Cap Toys one. If you want his little small thing, his shirt... To actually look like it, of course, if you had a Stretch Armstrong, or you can just buy his outfit and put him on the... So this is pretty cool, you know, you can um, wrap him up just like the original Stretch Armstrong here. I'll do some of those poses in the book level. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna do that human pretzel one that I really like. Okay, let's aim this camera down. Okay, so I'm going to set him up into human pretzel. So you fold up his legs, so his feet are facing behind his thing. Then you just grab some of his arms and place them down to his stomach. And watch him untie. So he is stretchy. Because, of course, unlike the actual Stretch Armstrong models, he was not filled with corn syrup. So we'll do one of the cool moves that they did in the trailer here. I'll zoom in a tiny bit. Oh, I can't zoom in at all. Okay, let's, um, have some better lighting. That away, trying to, hope you guys can see me pretty well. So this is a cool thing that a lot of people like to do, is just step on his feet and lift him up as high as you can. Oh! Ow! Oh, curse you, Sir John. So that is pretty much it for this vlog. This is a very long vlog, I'm sorry. This isn't necessarily level. Okay, why am I on an angle? Oh, the world's falling! Okay, so this is a very long vlog. Also, this is a mite. You guys are probably going to get very hyped. Also, I'm getting blinded, so... You guys are going to get very hyped about this. I might do, like, some airsoft war videos. Like... You know, dress up in a little camel outfit with that new gun. You know, have a war against my friends or something. I don't know. That's a might. Another might is a war video. Slash movie, slash TV show. Slash little 10 minute episodes. This might, me and my friends have been planning for a long time. We don't know if this will ever happen. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe, like the video, tell your friends, and I'm the True Gamer. Peace out.